What's up, guys? It's Gabe from Makers Help Desk, and I get asked a lot of questions about connecting edge functions to Superbase. So there's no easy way to do that inside of the bolt.new web container. One of the ways that you can do this is taking the function that Bolt writes, recreating it locally, and then grabbing Docker, logging into your project, and then just syncing with Superbase, and then just pushing it up. It's not super hard. It's a process of just like leaving Docker running in the background, and then just copy, paste, sync. Today, I'm going to try and break that down for you so it's nice and easy. I'm going to assume that you can go and get the latest node image from the Docker directory. So I, I find the, the image that I want, and now I need to pick the directory and where I'm, which I'm going to run node. So we're gonna click this little three dot menu, right? So I do everything out of C slash code. So what I'll do here is I'll open this, is once this is running here, I'll click run, and then I will take this uh, button down here at the bottom and it says terminal, right? So now let's just say I have, I, I have a project that I'm working on and I have a few functions that are written. Ultimately, Superbase will write the function for you. So let's just assume you have the edge function written, right? So I can already see it goes Superbase functions dumpling agent, right? So now I need to set up Superbase inside my, my container. So we're gonna go NPM install Superbase. Okay. And then we're gonna go Superbase V dash B to verify it's running 26.8 is the newest version and we can go super base login right and then we can just hit enter and it'll open up our project and we'll be able to just copy that paste it return it hit enter we'll do like super base link and then we get a list of all of our projects and then you can just kind of go down and pick the one that works for you and it's yelling at me so you'll get this you'll get this error sometimes too. Uh, it says it finished the link. Um, you'll get the error about things being different. It doesn't matter. So the the way to go about this now is super simple, right? So here's my fo my folder, right? You can see it. There's a bunch of packages in it. If I want to take Superbase, and now I have functions that I need to create. So I'm going to come over to Bolt, and I'm going to look at this uh, in the File Explorer. It says Superbase Functions, and the name of the function is this folder here. So we're going to go right-click, New Folder, Functions. We're going to open that, and then we're going to name it New Folder Dumpling Agent. And then we're going to uh, like open Notepad. You just copy everything out of it. File, save as. And if we come all the way to the correct location and we type in index.ts. Make sure we're not saving it as a text file. We hit save. Uh, now we're at a point where we've got the file in the right place. And now we're gonna be ready to sync this uh, and link it. So this is all you should have to do is Superbase functions deploy and then the name of that folder, right? Which would be this dumpling agent. At this point in the Docker terminal, we should just be able to hit enter and it deploys. And there you go. So you can see de deployed function on. So sometimes you may need to reference your project uh, to force it to sync. And if that's the case, then that, that can happen. And you just put your project reference on the end, which is like dash dash project dash ref, and then your super base project. So uh, you can click this and it'll load in your dashboard and it'll bring you right here. Edge functions have their own specific log and drill down. So if you open it, you'll be able to view all the invocations the log and get super and get the actual endpoint details that you can modify. So uh, the logs here for the edge function, 